Hello, and hope all is well, wherever you are. Thank you for clicking on the video. We are continuing on in the, the Hogwarts Legacy side quests with Natty, Poppy, and Sebastian. In the last video, we had to make the very difficult decision to turn in Sebastian for killing his uncle. Ominous has sent me an owl to speak with him in the Undercroft, so we're going to head there first. Then we also, in the last video, met up with Poppy. She believes the, po the poachers are after some snidgets, so I think we're going to go on a quest to save them, and we're trying to get help from the centaurs. And then we freed Natty in the last one as she was captured by some poachers when she was trying to acquire more information about Theopolis Harlow. Since he's the last of the Rookwood, Ranrock, Triple Threat, he's the only one we haven't gotten rid of. So we're trying to track him down, and Natty's been doing the bulk of the work on that. So we should be getting an update from her on what's next with that as well, and we'll progress into that. So let's go talk to Ominous and see what he has. I really didn't want to turn in Sebastian, but in good conscience, I can't. I can't just allow him to get away with with what he did to his uncle. There's no way, you know, that's not something Hogwarts would want kept a secret, so. Thank you for coming. Ominous, I received your owl. What's happened with Sebastian? He's been expelled, and will soon face trial at the Ministry. Although Anne wanted to turn him in, I think now she's torn. I confess I know how she feels. As much as we all wanted Sebastian to face the consequences of his actions, it will never be the same without him. Just standing here in the Undercroft without Sebastian feels wrong. I never thought things would end this way. I hope we did the right thing. I hope so too. Were you able to tell Sebastian about Rookwood cursing Anne? I was. Black let me talk to Sebastian before he left. At first he wouldn't believe it. Then he realized it all made sense. Unfortunately, his anger only grew towards goblins and dark wizards. Anne was shocked too but in some sense relieved to know the truth about who was responsible. I think it brought her some peace. I'm glad to hear it. She deserves peace. <laughs> she does. Sebastian was my best friend. I can't imagine Hogwarts or anywhere without him. I know you two had grown close, that you were helping each other with more than just finding a cure for Anne. He never gave specifics, but I know it was important. He meant means a lot to us both. I hope we get the chance to tell him that one day. I know we had a bit of a rocky start, but you've proven yourself as a friend. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. Okay, well, Sebastian, unfortunately, he's not going to be at Hogwarts anymore, but when you do something that drastic, you're unfortunately going to have to pay the consequences. So we now have Poppy waiting so we'll check in with her surprise meeting in the Forbidden Forest.
Jackdaw's tomb. Yeah, there's nothing really close. So the, probably the best thing to do is just to fly in there. That's the entrance. So we'll we'll jump there and then get on the broom. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. And go the rest of the way. There she is. I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. We don't have a choice if we want to help the Snidgets. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere there's something about them that's so knowing it's almost unnerving i suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience that's exactly the right word i just never mind what is it it's nothing truly i've we've no secrets to hide that's right we'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <clears throat> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. 
Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with Snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Isn't Moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing Centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific Moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a Centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. So nothing further. That was more of just a introduction with the centaurs. Okay, let's see what we have. There's Natty, and then we have Poppy and the Centaurs. Natty's back at Hogwarts. So we'll jump to the Great Hall, see what she has. We gotta be getting... How nice to see you, my young friend. Somewhat close. To tracking down Harlow. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors, and news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. 
When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want that. He, and my mother, raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you seem to think so too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. But that does not mean that she likes it. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry as my mother does. But I think he, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders. Rookwood is already gone, Hollow will be next. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. All right, nothing further from her, just information. So Poppy's up next. We're going to see she's going to meet in Irondale. So curious to see, are we going to do anything with the centaurs or just, again, some more information? Let's see what she's got. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Rolling in a it's you. Oh, I can't thank you enough for rescue. I think she's down. She's down there. At least that's what it looks like on the map. Yes. You made it. I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. Seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. Let's not find out. Well, we got some action here. Let's go into the the Moonstone Cave and 
Hopefully we can get what we're looking for. Get ready for... Ready for a fight. At least I would think. I'm going to switch these up so... Got some things here. We're ready to go. Always know how these caves are. Rebellion. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? Spiders. I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Now I swapped out Accio, and I'm gonna need it anyway. So. Accio. That just means there's gonna be more spiders somewhere. Revelio. How lovely. I don't mind spiders in real life, but the spiders in this game and in the Star Wars Fallen Order game, they're just so huge. Why do they have to be that big? We've got something up here. So as always, I'm going to clear everything I can. Oh, that's where we came in. Pay attention. Okay. Off we go. There is something over this way. Revelio. Some coins and some hork lump, it appears. That's it. Okay. Bear with me, Poppy. I like to like to take a look around a little bit as Sebastian knows. Uh. Now we'll hit through this door. Oh, we got a butterfly. What is that? It's another aggressive one. I couldn't tell what that thing was. It almost looked like a stone. I've only fought a few of those Revelio. in the game. All right, let's see what I did not get. What is that? Did I miss that? I don't think so. I think that's down below. We'll probably progress to it at some point. Confirm. I don't have Lumos currently, but we can. We can swap it out. Lumos. Lumos. I don't. Yeah, we don't have it open yet, so I have to put it back for a moment. Come back and get it when I open these things. Couldn't bring up. Might need to go over there. Then we also have this. Bombarder. Rebellion. Foipers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Fwoopa's song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Huh. 
see what we have in here. We definitely got a spider. Oh, I think it's just the little ones, though. Revelio. If the monster is here and so of whoopers, I wonder if it's being protected. Revelio. Definitely more stuff, but not in this room. Akio. Revelio. I think this comes around, maybe? It's kind of hard Why to Why am I not surprised? First the Fuipas and now this. Akio. We need to find moths for those spinners. Yeah, so we need to get those. Akio. Those don't stay open. Lumos. Lumos. The runes on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. Depulsa. So that one's open. Lumos. Lumos. Maybe we can open this one now. Oh, I forgot I switched. Another obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Yeah, we were up in that location, but I hadn't finished it yet, so I'm going to head back over there. We still got to deal with pulling those things out, I believe. They have to do something. Let's head back around. So we still had another moth. Yep, on this side. Lumos. Lumos. Not grass. I don't think I've seen that anywhere in the game. Did that do anything? Ah, it opened that up. Okay. Huh. 
leads to a trunk. And then I think that that's all I didn't didn't get before. All right, now we'll head back to that other room since I've cleared this. Revelio. Oh, there's a trunk behind that. Accio. I think this is the... Yeah, this is similar to... The catacomb. Where you have to pull out the ones in the direction of the symbols. So... That one's first, and then that one's underneath it. So we need to find... Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. Accio. That opens that door and gets you that chest. And the other symbol... Appears I already opened it. Just didn't collect it. Okay. Revelio. Oh, there's another. Lumos. That appears to be. Maybe that's all we needed then. So we now have two. There's one there and this one. Let's see if this raises up something. Do we have another one? Hard to tell. Revelio. Is that another one of those moss way down there? Interesting. Okay, we've got one over on that side. So let's... Lumos. Take this one and walk it over there. That gets us across. No, it's beautiful. You better come on, Poppy. Now we need three. So we must be able to take those off, and then the one was down below. Revelio. Bigger question is I think I'm gonna have to get in the water. Maybe. We'll see. Lumos. There's two. Now we just need the last one. Revelio. Lumos. Uh. 
There it is. This should do it. You did it. I was hoping we would. Yep, some more of those. Let's get ready for a fight. Faces. Must have went down there and fell off or something. But good riddance. Definitely don't need Rebellion. that. I think that's it. What's that? Oh, where it died. All right, off we go. What more will there be in store? Look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. Spectacles. What in the world is this? It's like a portal going down. Here we go. Yeah, it just teleported us somewhere. Merlin. It's even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. Rebellion. There appears to be stuff everywhere, but I don't I think we got to swim to it. Oh, yeah, that's the room we were in. Given what creepers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. Revelio. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here, assuming this is where the moon is. Which means we're one step ahead of them. Revelio. We found it. It's like staring directly at the moon. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. Whatever it is, it had better have to do with Snidgets. 
The clock is ticking in that regard, isn't it? Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. How's your grand doing, by the way? Nothing keeps grand down. She set up a caterwauling uh. charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. I think we can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. is to see even one. They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Garan that I've managed to see not one, but two mooncalf dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met high wing, actually, I... I'd love to hear about how you and high wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, high wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead more money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed Highwing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen, a good one, a sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed Highwing was also the night I ran away from home, a poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin, I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in, but the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with Highwing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around. Always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognised? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. 
That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol, and we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. So we're taking the Moonstone back, even though we delivered it. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. So more information unravels. So we, we found so much that went on with Sebastian and how that ended. But also, you know, we found out his sister was cursed. Then we find out Natty is an Animagus. Poppy comes from a family of poachers. There's just so many turns and twists to these stories. But it's been super interesting. Okay, so next video, we're going to jump into more of this. We, I believe, you know, what what's happened with Sebastian at this point. I don't think there's anything more that will continue on there, but we do still have Poppy's storyline continuing, and then as well, Natty, which I feel we're getting closer to Theopolis Harlow, and I really want to take him down so that he's out of the mix. And hopefully, all three of them will be completely finished. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate it. Can't say it enough. Don't forget to click the like button if it's earned it, and please subscribe. That way you get notified. Thanks so much. Take care. Hope to see you back on the next one.